This is part 4 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss what is a component in Angular 2 with an example. In part 1 of this video series, we discussed everything in Angular is a component. That is, components are the basic building blocks of an Angular application. So the obvious first question that comes to our mind is, what is a component in Angular 2? Well, a component in Angular is a class with a view template and a decorator. So in simple terms, we can say a component in Angular is composed of these three things, template, class and a decorator. Template defines the user interface. So it contains the HTML, directives and data bindings. Class contains the code required for the view template. Just like a class in any object oriented programming language like C Sharp or Java, a class in Angular can contain properties and methods. Properties contain the data for the view template and methods contain the logic for the view. We are going to use TypeScript to implement a class in Angular. The final part of the component is a decorator. We are going to use the decorator component provided by Angular which adds metadata to the class. Once we decorate an Angular class with a component decorator, it becomes an Angular component. If all these does not make sense at the moment, don't worry, we'll look at an example in just a bit and everything will be clear. In part 2 of this video series, we downloaded quick start files from the Angular website. One of the files is this file, app.component.ts. This is an example of a component. Remember, a component in Angular is composed of these three things, template, class and a decorator. If you look at the code that we have in this file right here, we have those three things. Notice right here we have a view template and here a class. This class is decorated with the component decorator provided by Angular. So this is an example of a component. Instead of me explaining this existing code, let's delete everything that we have here and then re-implement this component from the scratch so we can better understand what a component is. First, let's implement the class within our component. So in this file, app.component.ts, we are going to create a class. In object-oriented programming languages like C Sharp or Java, we use the class keyword to create a class. Even in TypeScript, we use the class keyword to create a class and followed by that we'll have the name of the class. I'm going to name this class app component and there is a specific reason in naming this class app component. By convention the root component in Angular is called app component. Look at the name of the file here app.component.ts. So just by looking at the name of the file here we can tell that the class it contains is app component and then we'll have curly braces which is the body of the class. Within the body of the class, we can have methods and properties. In this example, we are just going to have one property and in a later video in this course, we'll discuss implementing methods within a class. And the one property that we are going to have will contain the message that we want to display on the web page. So in this example right here, this Angular 2 is going to come from the property that we are going to specify here. So we specify the name of our property. I'm going to call the property name. And then we need to specify the data type for this one. So we include a colon and then the data type for this property. The data type is string and then we use equal to and a value that we want to store in this property. So let's store Angular. So now we have a class with just one property here. I'm going to use export keyword on this class. This keyword allows this class to be exported so other components within our application can import and use this component if required. Next, let's implement this component decorator which adds metadata to our app component class. Remember, the component decorator is provided by Angular. So for us to be able to use that component decorator, we will have to first import it from Angular. To import the component decorator, we use the import keyword. This import keyword is very similar to using declaration in C Sharp. And then within curly braces, we specify what we want to import. We want to import component. And then we use the from keyword and then specify from where we want to import this component. So within double quotes, we specify 
from where we want to import. Look at this, the moment I type a few characters, I get IntelliSense as well. This component is present in Angular Core. So let's select Angular Core. And at this point, when I right click on component, within the context menu, we have go to definition. When I select this, I have two choices here. So let's select the second choice. Notice on the component here, they're using export keyword. That's the reason we are able to import this component and use it within our own component. And that's exactly the reason why we are using export keyword on our own class. So with this keyword in place, other components within our Angular application will be able to import and use this component if required. Next, we need to apply this component decorator on our app component class to add metadata to it. To add a decorator to a class, we use the add symbol and then followed by that the name of the decorator. In this case, the name of the decorator is component. Applying decorators to a class in Angular is similar to applying attributes to a class in C Sharp. Following the name of the decorator, we open and close parenthesis and then pass an object. This object can then contain several properties which specify the metadata that we want to add to this class. For the full list of properties supported by this component decorator, visit this page right here. I'll have this URL available on my blog in case you need to refer to it later. As we scroll down on this page, we can see the full list of properties here which specify the metadata that we want to add. We're not going to use all these properties in this example. We're going to use just two of them. We're going to use selector and template properties. First, let's specify selector property. The value for this is going to be my app. In a bit, I'll explain what the selector property is going to do. Next, let's specify the template property. Template specifies the HTML required for the view. Remember, this is the message that we want to display on the web page. And we want this message to be present inside an H1 element. So the template is going to contain an H1 element. And the template HTML must be inside two backtick characters and not single quotes. So a backtick character looks like this. And you can find this backtick character on this keyboard key right here. So within the pair of backtick characters, I will include an H1 element and we need to close this H1 element. And inside that, we want to display the message hello and whatever we have in this property right here. Now here we are data binding. So we have the data binding expression right here within the double curly braces. We have the name of the property whose value we want to display on the page. So at the moment we've got a selector and a template that we are passing to the component decorator. Now the selector has got the value my app. So the selector is going to become a directive on any HTML page where we want to use this view template. So if you look at this index.html, notice here we're using that selector my app as a directive. And within the opening and closing tags of this directive, we have some default content here. At runtime, what happens is this content will be replaced with this view template right here. So let's run our application by pressing Control F5. And on this web page, we see the message hello Angular as expected. Remember, a component in Angular is composed of three things, a class, template, and a decorator. The selector within our component, my app in this case, becomes a directive on our HTML page. In this case, the directive name is also my app. And at runtime, this directives HTML, which is hard coded here to loading, is replaced with this component's template HTML. And we have seen that in action just now. Thank you for listening and have a great day.